How to lay floor tiles. Difficulty level, two hammers. Laying floor tiles is not really that difficult. Most of all, you need to be meticulous and do things in order. You will need the tiles of your choice. Adhesive mortar, grout and spaces. Make sure you have a trowel, a notched spatula, a rubber mallet, a tile cutter or an electric tile cutter, a tape measure, a soft pencil, tile nippers, a marking line, a rubber floor squeegee, a mason's ruler, a mason's set square, a spirit level, a tungsten tipped marking point, a tiler's float, a bucket and a trough. Use knee pads and household gloves. Every surface should be scraped, vacuumed and degreased. The tiling surface must be level, stable and clean. Scrape off any lumps. Give it a good vacuum and clean with an alkaline degreasing detergent or a special product for cement on concrete screeding. If you want to tile over a previously tiled floor, you can keep the old one and stick the new one directly on it with special adhesive. One problem, however, the height of the finished floor will rise. Mark out reference points in order to create a regular design on the floor and ensure that there will be no cut tiles in the most visible areas of the floor. How to proceed? Mark a perpendicular line from the threshold of the entrance to the opposite wall. If the door is tight on a corner, choose to take the line instead from the middle of the wall so that the lines running across are better balanced. Provisionally put the first row in place along this line. Provisionally place a complete row of whole tiles using spaces to show the joins. Line up with the edge of the last tile and mark out a second line perpendicular to the first. You are going to place the first tile at the intersection of the two lines. You should mix the packets of tiles to blend in any possible variations in shades. Prepare the adhesive mortar by beating the powder into the water according to the manufacturer's instructions. Adhesive. Spread the adhesive mortar with a trowel right up to the line over a slightly larger area than the width of the first row of tiles and enough for five or six tiles. Use a six or eight millimeter notched spatula for tiles less than 25 centimeters long and 10 millimeters for those longer than this. Striate the layer of adhesive to give it its final thickness. Good to know, if your tiles are more than 30 centimeters long, spread some adhesive on the tiles too. The first tile. The moment has come to lay your first tile. Place it on the intersection of the lines and be careful to align it with both lines. The positioning of this tile dictates the rest. Embed the tile into the adhesive with sharp taps of the mallet. Place a spacer at each corner of the tile and lay the next one in the same way. Keep going until the whole row is covered with complete tiles and use the mason's ruler to check that all of them are aligned and level. Subsequent rows. Once the first row is in place, the work becomes simpler and you can spread adhesive over a bigger area. Once two or three rows are laid, use the float. Keep laying and regularly check that everything is level using the ruler in the other direction. For tiles along the wall, place a tile exactly over the one in the last row glued. Next, place another tile on top of it, which you will slide to one centimeter from the wall. Mark the line on the tile beneath. Straight cuts. Place your tile on the cutter so that your line falls just at the axis of the cutting line. Put the lever on the upper side of the tile and push, holding it down evenly until you reach the end of the tile. The electric tile cutter makes straight cuts, but can also make angled cuts in the middle of the tile. Curved cuts. Mark the cut with a soft pencil and divide the area to be removed using the marker cutter. If the area to be removed is large, start by cutting what you can with the tile cutter and finish off using the nibblers.
they can be laid before or after the joins. Lay them simply by gluing the underside and ensuring their joins match up with the rows of tiles. Leave to dry for 24 hours and then prepare your grout. Spread very creamy grout over an area of 4 to 5 square meters, then spread quickly with the rubber squeegee. Scrape off the surplus product by sweeping the squeegee diagonally in relation to the gaps to avoid creating hollows and remove the surplus. Repeat the operation. If a white film appears after 15 to 20 minutes, rub in a circular motion with a dry cloth. To polish the joints and after 45 minutes, use a damp sponge. At least one hour later, scatter lightly with damp sawdust to finish cleaning up the tiles. Leave to dry for 48 hours. Then, after mopping, you can furnish the room. Need more info? Call 010-493-5170.